Hey there, so today we have another review. Um, this is one of my favorite breweries in all of New York City. Um, in all of New York, actually. Actually, it's one of my favorite breweries ever. So uh, this is Grim Super Spruce. This is a very interesting beer. Uh, very revolutionary. Like, who the hell's making spruce beer? Um, you guys can post a comment below so you guys are like better beer geeks than me, but there's like a... There was a German brewery that made like a spruce goza that was pretty fun. Had it at the well in Bushwick, which rest in pieces. Was my favorite beer bar in all of New York and then died. And then actually the Grand Delancey died, which is then my favorite uh, beer bar in New York. So yeah. Anyway, um, I love nostalgia. Well, let's keep talking about nostalgia. This is super spruce. This is a goza uh, brewed with spruce tips, chinook hops, and sea salt. 5%. <laughs> used to come in. Well, it used to be draft, but then also used to come into bombers. They used to be contract brewed out of like, uh, I think Maryland, but now it's obviously brewed in Williamsburg. Shout out to the Grim Project. They got natural wine. They got, uh, um, what are they? They're doing like a beats. Yeah, like like a, a New Haven style, like a beats pizza. So, uh, really interesting stuff. Spruce tip goza, huh? Beer comes really nice, kind of um, straw color, um, medium plus haze of that, wonderful white head. Oh, yeah, that's what it smells like. Um, so I just had the West Brook. It was a uh, wonderful kind of like salinity, sour, lemony. Love that kind of like sea thing going on. It just it just feels great. I, it, again, again, I'm crazy enough. I'm not a beach guy. Um, more of like pound the pavement. I mean, I'm from New York, so like pound the pavement, subways, big buildings, museums. Um, like Tokyo is one of the favorite cities ever. So um, sort of shows like my opinions. But the sea... <laughs> If I smell the seeds, it's going to be fun. But then it also has this beautiful kind of like, so it's like perfumey, a um, little bit like potpourri going on, rose action. I don't know if like this coriander here. Um, I don't think it's coriander. I didn't say that. But uh, Chinook, huh? Chinook. Um, so it's like Chinook ideally should offer some pininess. Yeah. And it's like with spruce tips, it's super, super piney, super terpene heavy. It's almost like weed-like, but not that far towards weed, but very piney spruce tippy um it smells like winter i think this is their winter sour this is canned oh, what's that? Oh, i can't read that mm. anyway um okay so probably december so this is not even that fresh because we're in march now interesting because this is 2023 this goes so i'll give it credit like it's not kind of like you know fall apart like hazy ipa so um, really nice salty sour. Uh, if you're okay with salty sours, this is very salty. Um, piney up front. Um, I, I feel like, yeah, the Chinook's probably died a little bit. So you get a little bit of like brown character. It's not all green. Cause like the, the spruce is so green. It's like, uh, what pine salt, I guess that's lemony, but like, it's got this like, oh, so there we go. Eucalyptus heavy heavy spruce tips eucalyptus that like minty numbing thing that you get from like winter green gum kind of thing um it's a very like minty sprucey eucalyptus but the other thing you get a little bit of brown in there i mean brown like maybe it's just a hair of like um like uh brown leaves on the ground right and then it's very salty but with the full acidity too um it's very fun. High utility, high crushability. And it's got this beautiful kind of like, it's like eucalyptus, but if you guys don't know eucalyptus, uh, a good analogy would be minty. Like it's so piney that it's almost like minty. Um, it's so sprucey. Uh, but yeah, so, super sprucey. It's, it's like, it's like if the forest and the beach met together, right? Because you get the salty, sour thing. Uh, yeah, like salted water things, I guess, the beach. And then they get sour thing, which would be like lemonade-ish, limeade-ish. But then you also get the, the, the like spruce tips and forest and mint and green kind of character. And this brown, soily kind of um, like dead leaves kind of thing. It's like fall. So this here, this beer hits like, like, spring lemonade, summer beach, fall with the the leaves falling down, and then winter with the spruce tips. Like it does so much, and I love it. Um, high impression beer. High repeatability. <laughs> yes, Audrey. Uh, but yeah, uh, 
five percent it's the last beer review was the westbrook goza benefit to that beer that beer had so much character for a beer full abv lower than this beer not to take away from this beer this beer is fantastic so as for rating crushable lovable super interesting goza um you know a lot of people i mean in general you're gonna think kettle sour is gonna just be a little bit less complex why not brett why not long ferment but you can hop it crazy have a really nice textured mouthfeel in here too. I feel the five percent sort of helps, and I, f I don't know, but I believe their kettle sours are no, no boil sour, so um, you can actually make kettle sours with um, raising to temperature to pasteurization temperature. So like you do a mash, raising it to pasteurization, not boiling, and then fermenting. So, um, so you're still like knocking out. Like ideally, you're still like sanitizing the wort, but then you don't have to go all the way, right? Because you're actually not looking to ice samurai's hops you need boil to ice samurai so blah blah anyway technical stuff um texture impression great use of spruce great salinity great sourness like this is a full sour yes very sour um <laughs> it's so fun because you could sort of like smash it like sour but then you can try again and it just tastes like pine needles it's so fun it's so fun such an impression beer i'm gonna give this a solid um 97 plus super spruce what an interesting beer super different until next time cheers love me some grim i'm gonna up it to a 98 minus later